What is up, Bomb Squad? Welcome to the Burn Down YouTube channel. Man, it feels good to get back out in the garage, get a little sunshine. I haven't seen the sun in like a week because I got back from my vacation and my wife and I fell ill and I was down pretty much the whole week riding the couch. But it was a good week to be sick because Rocky Mountain Race Week 2.0 and Hot Rod Drag Week and Redwood Rally were all going off at the same time. So I sat there like a couch potato, um, sick, but in my drag and drive glory. So today uh, I'm still not 100%, but I really feel like we need to kind of start getting back after life because <laughs> you got to pay for your vacations and all your stuff. So we're going to ease into it today, have a little fun. And I wanted to share something with you guys uh, that may or may not know about a company called Hammer Design Concepts. So let's take a look on, walk on over to the bench. I'll show you some stuff and hopefully we can get a little bit of welding done today hopefully so let's go take a look at this all right here we go so what you were looking at is an upper torque box that is obviously unassembled it is a DIY kit by a company called hammer design concepts you got a little fancy sticker here so if you're wondering who hammer design concepts is if you watch any tin soldier race cars or you have heard about tin soldier race cars they seem to be pretty well known for the rear ends that they build. They build these spectacular looking rear ends uh, that I always drool over and I'm like, man, that'd be so cool to have one of those one day and they're they're expensive. Well, I watched one of their videos and they mentioned this company and then you go on their website, Hammer Design Concepts is the company that sells the Fab 9 kit that Tin Soldier Race Cars welds up. And to top it off, they have A body slash G body parts. So that's what these are. These are all flat strap parts for what's called a torque box. So this is gonna be the upper portion of where the four link mounts are gonna go on the Malibu. So we're gonna weld this up. There'll be a couple bars that my buddy's gonna bend up that will go through. Um, I could put a picture of the screen what it's gonna look like when it's done, but that's what this is. And then the box here, I'm not gonna open it up just yet. Maybe we can do it later in the video. We'll see how far we get. I have the lowers here. Um, so that completes all the mounting points on the Malibu and gives me adjustability, but it keeps the stock four link um, geometry and all that for the most part. It does move it technically to the inside on the frame rails, but anyway, stock style suspension, right? That's what we're getting after. So it'll be a stock style four link uh, in the Malibu. So this is the upper mount, which we'll have to make a cross brace and put all that in, probably cut out the old stuff. And then this will be the lower. And then over here, what we did is I ordered their four link bracketry um, for the rear end as well. So we essentially have all of the mounting points necessary except for the uppers because these are for their rear end. And what we are going to try to do is keep the rear end that I have in the mal boom. I'm just going to pull it out, brace it up, make sure it's straight. Um, and then we'll weld their four link brackets on. And then I'm going to make my own upper uh, links or my own upper brackets when we get that far. But as far as today, I wanted to introduce you guys to this company because if you have an A body, a G body, or you, you're a hardcore DIY guy and you want a really nice kit to weld together, they make some really, really killer stuff. So you can go check them out. I'm not sponsored or anything. I found their stuff. I've been drooling over it for a long time and I pulled the trigger uh, before I went on vacation and I decided while the Malibu is at my buddy Jason's shop, it makes sense to get all the chassis work done. So we're going to do the front end and we're going to mount all of this stuff in the back of the Malibu and then I'll drag it home and we'll do... I'll pull the rear end and stuff out here and we can you know work on that stuff as well but um, today what the goal is is to just have a leisurely day of TIG welding and I'd like to get all these doublers on here so we've got four here and then I have uh, I believe like four more at least here so we'll see we'll just kind of mosey through these guys today we'll see how we feel and see how we go not trying to set the world on fire, just want to make a quick video, kind of introduce this, get back on the camera, get back in the swing of things of editing and everything else. Um, and then we've got a new camera. If you haven't noticed, the footage should look way better than it did. And I've got a new mic coming. I don't have that quite yet, but we are stepping it up into Hollywood land. So hopefully all this stuff sounds better, looks better. Uh, we are shooting on the new DJI Action 5 Pro. And then I got the little DJI mic coming. So I'm pretty excited with all that. Uh, we killed the GoPro on vacation. So Let's shoot some time-lapse footage, get a little welding done, um, and feel better about ourselves instead of just surfing the couch all day. Is 
my boogers. So I think it's good enough for government work. And like I said, these are just doublers to hold this thing on. So we'll turn the heat down a little bit from where I was at, I think. But all in all, I think it's all right. Didn't seem to really warp out too much, so I think we'll be good with that. So let me finish up the rest of these. I'll give you a look at them. Hopefully we kind of get better as we go, but I'm happy with that for what we're trying to trying to do. It's still hot. We got it locked down. This is the last one. And then we got the other guys over here. So all in all, it was fun. We're definitely not tin soldiers race cars by any stretch, but uh, yeah, I'm enjoying the TIG learning process. And then steel is way different from aluminum. Aluminum seems a little more violent, like you have to give a lot of amps and kind of pulse it and get after it to get those the dime look. And then this just kind of melts, so you just kind of finagle it. It's not quite as violent. So I try to keep the heat out of it. And I'm trying to lock everything down so we don't warp it all out. But that is it. I'm going to dig through the box. We'll probably do the rest of the doublers uh, for the other side of this kit. But I don't need to beat you guys up anymore and show you what we're you know working on but all in all it's good enough for government work this is way nicer stuff than the Malibu's ever had by any stretch um, and I'm a lot better at welding and hopefully in the next video we can take you over and show you uh, what Jason's got done I did run over there so spoiler alert I've already kind of seen the car but he wasn't very far so it'll be fun to bring you guys over there we can bring all these parts and then hopefully we can kind of start working on the thing this week after hours because we got to make some progress. We got to go racing. Thank you guys for following along. You all know what to do. Till next time, I'm out.